Hey Hogs, we're going to talk about the drive block. The drive block is used in dive. Um, it is where you are responsible for your place side gap and you are on the front side of dive. That is when we use a drive block. So we use a drive block um, where we have a guy in our gap. So a guy from our shoulder or place side shoulder to the shoulder of the guy next to us on our place side. If there's a guy lined up there, we will use a drive block. So it is just like a down block, but the only difference between a drive and a down is that for a drive block, we are blocking our front side gap or on a down block, we are blocking back into a back side gap. But both of those blocks means that we have leverage on the defender of where the ball is being ran. So as you can see, the ball is being ran off the center's butt. And so we are blocking uh, play side, and we are keeping our leverage on the defender, which means we don't want to try to get on the other side of this guy um, where he can fall into the play and beat our leverage. We want to stay on this side of the defender. So how we do that is we take a 45 degree angle step with our first step um, right at his midline. Our second step is we square up on a 45 degree track with our helmet on his near number and then we drive that guy on a 45 degree angle away from where the ball is being ran. We're trying to drive him on a 45 degree, run him to the sideline uh, and create lateral movement, trying to drive this guy away to make this hole as big as we can where the ball is being ran. Um, I will try to show you some examples of a drive block. Um, let's watch the play side tackle here. So we're running dive to the right the ball is being ran downhill right here. Um, so the play side tackle already has leverage on the guy that is in his gap. So he's gonna, he should take a 45 degree step, head on the inside and drive this guy out and maintain his leverage. Oh, sure enough, we're going the other way. So let's talk about this guy. Um, this is the guy that's gonna have the drive block. Let's watch the left tackle, okay? The left tackle steps with his play side foot. Second step squares up. He's on a 45 degree angle. He's keeping inside leverage on this guy. Now I'd like to see him lower with this hat on the number, but he is driving the guy out. The guy wants to run up field. That's okay. We'll just stay on the inside and there's no way that this guy is going to be able to get to the play. So I'll talk about it again. The dive is actually being ran to the left. So everyone is responsible for their left gap. The tackle has a guy in his gap, so he's going to drive that guy out. Okay, let's try to find another example. Okay, let's look at this guard here. The, guy had, the guard has a guy in his gap. He should take two quick steps. One, two, get his head on the near number and now drive this guy out and away and try to create lateral movement because the ball is being ran inside of their block, okay? So notice, this is a great picture, the center, the guard, the tackle, all three creating lateral movement, trying to drive their guy away from where the ball is trying to be ran, all three of them. So that's a drive block, keeping your leverage.